going to be reading today from Sea Creatures, a book that was published about two years ago and has some of the most fantastic photographs of any animals that you have ever seen. But before I read from the book, I'm going to be reading the dedication. I normally don't read dedications out loud, but this is a very important dedication to me. And here's what it says. In memory of Rachel Carson, scientist, naturalist, and author, whose book, The Sea Around Us, so influenced me to become a writer. And let me show you the first picture in the book. It's a soft-bodied sea slug called a nudibranch. Sea creatures come in all shapes and sizes. There are some sea creatures with no eyes and others with dozens of them. Some have many arms and others have none at all. There are those that look like brightly colored flowers and others that look like dragons. Some are as small as the period at the end of this sentence. Others are as big as your hand or foot. But a blue whale may be bigger than a school bus and weigh as much as 20 African elephants. In any case, all living things in nature have much the same needs. They must have food, adjust to their surroundings, and be able to survive. The sea, in which so many animals exist, is not the same all over the world, nor is it the same at the surface as it is at the bottom of the sea. Sea water varies in temperature and saltiness from place to place. Sunlight lights up the surface waters, but no sunlight can penetrate the dark depths of the sea. Waves and currents constantly churn surface waters, but water currents in the depths take centuries to move from polar regions to the equator. Yet, wherever we look in the seas, from dark, icy polar waters to bright, warm, tropical seas, from seashore to open waters to ocean floor, we find life. 